Welcome back to How Not To Be A Noob and today we're looking at the new motorboat and a new build to fully protect the raft, put as many turrets as possible on this build. So first off, start by covering your motor. You have to make sure to get this first foundation directly over the motor like it did in that first clip. If you miss it, go back and watch it again. From there, you snap a fence foundation to the corner of that foundation, then put a pillar sunk into the boat and this is how you drop your foundations. As you can notice here, the boat, the motorboat is much thicker than the wooden raft, so you need to go further down to cover this. Because the main thing you want to do on your raft is fully cover it, so no one can just shoot or C4 directly onto your raft. So after this, destroy the pillar and destroy the first foundation. And destroy the fence foundation as well, because you need to conserve all your pieces. You can put 138 pieces on a motorboat. Then sink a foundation in the center, and from this foundation, drop a pillar straight down and then attach another pillar to it and with pillars you have to keep going down to put a ceiling on it so you have to go down one more than you, you sh would think you need to so keep going down and there you have a ceiling just at the right level to cover the bottom of the motorboat and this will make sure people can't come up and directly attach C4 to your motorboat which is a huge priority like I said it's the main thing in this build is to protect the raft so nothing is shown nothing is external so cover this up and you'll notice you have a little bit of extra on the end you need to cover this up as well with rafts the beautiful thing is you can make floating foundations so that'll be the next task so destroy your excess metal floors and you should just have one metal floor in the center and pillar in the middle like this now you're good to go Next up, we're going to use thatch ceilings. To thatch ceilings, you can attach floating foundations under thatch ceilings. It has to be a thatch ceiling. It cannot be a metal ceiling. It only works with thatch for some reason. Because you know, arc is arc. So once you place your thatch ceilings, place, a, place foundations underneath them, and you can snap them to thin air, like so. This is very important because if you leave these ends of the rafts exposed, it's a vulnerability to your raft build. Every part of it needs to be covered. So make sure you follow this build tutorial exactly to the point and you shouldn't have any issues. And then once you've got your foundation snapped, you can destroy the uh, all the excess metal floors again. Obviously you could do it with wood to save your resources. I highly recommend it. This was just done in admin mode, so it didn't matter about resources. Then destroy your thatch ceilings, destroy all the excess metal floors. And you can see there the metal floors, the metal foundations just float in thin air. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And then your, your raft is nearly fully protected and encased. So once you've completed this step, you've got the basics down. Now what we need to do is we go to the ceilings that you've placed underneath the raft. And from there, we build up the walls. And this will fully encase the raft because if you lower foundations they don't go deep enough to cover the raft so this is the way to get around that because these metal rafts like i said are thicker than wooden rafts so snap up your wood walls from there they will snap next to the foundations you've just placed as well and this will fully encase your raft which means no one can directly place c4 straight onto the raft unless they break inside it and if they're breaking inside your raft it's the, the battle's been lost already so it doesn't matter too much about protecting the raft inside it's about external attacks that you're trying to block so build up your walls starting from the low starting from the ceilings underneath and you should have something that looks like this Then underneath you want to protect the rudder because with rafts just like the wooden raft any part of the raft that is exposed is a vulnerability as you can see the rudder is exposed here so what I was doing here was trying to protect it, but I, want, I wanted to use less base building components. So I thought maybe if I snatch, snap a thatch ceiling above this, I can put a foundation underneath it. And it actually works. So if you put a thatch ceiling above where the rudder sits, you can actually snap another foundation under and that will, that will protect your uh, rudder. So I left a few things in this base build, this raft build that I did wrong, just so you guys could see and just so you knew exactly what I did. So hopefully you find it helpful. And again, snap this pillar down. And above it you can put down a ceiling. And this is what I did to cover the, the middle pillar. Because obviously, 
This whole structure revolves around this center pillar, so you want to keep that as protected as possible. So you can demo those excess pillars and it will still stand. And there you can see that they need to go through at least two destructive items to get to the raft and start destroying it. You got to make sure to cover any vulnerabilities. Then on the back, you're going to want to put a ramp. I screwed up here because arc building sucks. But you want to put your ramp so you can actually climb up to your raft. Because with this build, you can't reach it from underneath. You can't access the raft from underneath. And as you can see, we've got our fully encased raft. Continue building up your walls. And the, the main aim with this build was to use as little resource as possible and put most of the excess building components into making turrets. From here, I like to place pillars. I like to put my generator in pillars. You don't have to do this. If I was to do the build again, I would actually probably not worry about it because I can save some components, but I put the generator inside the pillar so that the cables run straight through it. It makes it harder to destroy, but it's it's not really relevant to this build necessarily. But if you want to follow build, just follow exactly what I do here. Place pillars down from the ceiling, place your generator inside that. and Because when you build, you want to keep your generator super safe. So if people get into this into the internal layer of this raft, yes, they can see for it. But they can't just turn your generator off straight away. And this, this build actually has internal turrets. So it makes it even harder to destroy. So make sure you encase that. And it also encases the internal pillar as well. Which means that they can't directly take up the internal pillar to make the build fall. So these are really important steps. Make sure you follow them. And then you obviously want to attach a door as well. So you can get inside the raft. Which is always good. From here you're just about done with the blueprint. And it should look a little bit like this. With the pillar you've placed before, I like to place an extra ceiling on the roof here so they have to again go through two layers to get inside. Otherwise someone could just land on the roof and they could start blowing in. So this is a really important step as well. And again, it just means they have to go through extra layers and now you can destroy this uh, cable. You only need to go, you only need one vertical cable inside of this and you can destroy the pillar from previous. So your build should be taking shape. If you miss a part of this, always go. feel free to go back and look at it again. And now it's time to put on the ceiling attached to the walls you previously placed. And now we come to the easy part. Easy part which is turret placement. And with the motorboat you can place a damn lot of turrets if you follow this build. It can put 138 base building components on it. So use the hatch frames, metal hatch frames are really good because they give you really good vantage for turrets. Put some underneath and some above because the turrets underneath won't shoot above and the turrets above won't shoot underneath. So you need turrets above and below the water. And these hatch frames just give you a huge vantage. So your build should look something like this. Again, if you miss a step, just go back and watch again. And then of course you want to have multiple beds on your raft. Make sure you use bunk beds because you get a quicker, quicker spawn timer. So if you die a lot in a raid circumstance, you can respawn much, much quicker, which is always a good thing. You always want to have multiple beds. So make sure to put at least two or three beds down. And make sure you got a smithy on there if you need to repair any armor quickly in a raid scenario. And you're going to need to put large storage boxes. You can't put vaults down, unfortunately. So make sure you've got at least three storage boxes inside your raft. Just in case you need to drop off gear and keep it safe. And now we can place our turrets. And put a horizontal cable inside too because you will actually need this cable as well as a straight cable to reach all the turrets. Now each hatch frame should have about six turrets on it. Just follow the steps as seen here. So you get 24 turrets above the water, 24 turrets above the water and 10 underneath. So that is a hell of a lot of turrets. I was going to incorporate Plant Species X in this build but I decided not to because they're very easy to destroy but you could also put some Spec X on there if you want to. This is basically just a blueprint for you guys to see and to work off. And I, I found the build with securing the raft to be really effective so. Hope you guys learned a thing or two from this, and if you did, make sure to smash the like on it.